hey guys welcome back as we continuing on to this part two of the basics of dick silent power factories don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to simtech channel now another uh, thing to note uh, in mounting transformers in parallel is they reduce your total per unit impedance of the line here now right now how many do we have here we only have one transformer now we're going to run a short circuit analysis on this bus bar okay so when i run a short circuit analysis on this bus bar notice the short circuit current here the short circuit current is 10.5 kilo amps so let's go ahead and put the units here okay so we've got 10.5 kilo amps of short circuit current okay now if i double these transformers to be two in parallel that basically mean i'm halving my per unit impedance of this line so what it will do it will increase the short circuit on this bus bar let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to make it two okay so that basically means the per unit impedance in this line is now divided by two so what is the result i'm going to have a much higher fault current that will flow in this line here so let's go ahead and run this again a short circuit analysis on this bus bar okay there we go and you can see my short circuit uh, went from 10 kilo amps to 19.5 kilo amps effectively doubling okay so that's show that you are able to use two transformers in parallel just by changing that quick settings now another option that we can explore is your external grid here which can be used as a slack bar by selecting here now when we said it's a slack bar obviously as we talked about it on the previous tutorial you can control the voltage and the voltage angle as well now we see that this bus bar here is uh how many voltage we get on this bus bar let's see so this is a 132 kilovolt bus bar okay so that basically means that external grid is supplying 132 kilovolt now if we change right if we change this okay to 1.2 or let's rather put it to one per unit if we keep this to one per unit okay and we run a load flow analysis okay now in a normal condition we're going to have uh, a 132 kilovolt line to line as you can see now the 76 is line to neutral because we've got a one per unit voltage so it gives us a 132 kilovolt full line voltage okay now if we stop it and change it okay to 1.2 per unit okay and we keep the angle of the voltage to zero as a reference let's just leave it like that and we run this again okay we're going to see that the voltage is changing as you can see now we've got the line voltage to 158 it's no longer 132 even the phase voltage change so that is a role of the reference uh, bus bar right the slack bar is able to change and control based on the supply and demand of other bus bars okay now power factory have plenty of features some of which we will be discussing as we go along with uh, the upcoming tutorials now uh, i'm going to demonstrate quickly uh, how you can actually improve your network now let's say we've got uh, two loads here right these are feeders that are going into residential and industrial areas now let's say this load here eight megawatt and two uh, megavar let's say it changes right and all of a sudden let's first stop it okay all of a sudden this load here is now 40 megawatt still injecting two uh, megavolt reactive into the grid but it's now pulling 40 megawatt okay now if you now run this simulation again your load flow analysis you're going to now see that this transformer is now being overloaded okay the transformer is being overloaded because this is what a 20 mva transformer it's only a 20 mva transformer but now you've got a load here that is pulling 40 uh, megawatt 
and another load so a total of 45 megawatt as you can see the transformer is being overloaded okay the one mitigation you can do here is to obviously increase the size of your transformer okay you can say well i'm going to put a, a 80 mva transformer now remember an 80 mva transformer is very very expensive okay and if you run your simulation again you're going to see that everything is now happy all right nobody is complaining but that is an expensive transformer to put in now what if you don't have money to put an expensive transformer what is your option okay now your option is obviously to bring in another line okay that is going to basically feed into this bus by here to offload this transformer a bit okay so we're going to just add another bus bar here okay and to this bus bar we're gonna add another external uh, generator here an external power grid okay and let's flip this at the bar okay and we're going to add a new line okay so no transformer so basically just a new line that is going to connect to this bus bar Okay, so this will basically uh, alleviate some of the load from this transformer. So we are just adding another power feeding into this bus bar. Now, this uh, external power must, must adhere to the specification of this network. Okay, now remember this bus bar is what? A 33 kilovolt bus bar. Okay, so this line here must all be a 33 kilovolt line so this is a transmission line in this transmission line here since it's going to transmit uh, power at 33 kilovolt uh, potential now we're going to configure it we're going to configure a, a new line type here and it's rated at 33 kilovolt and let's say this line is rated at 10 kilo amps it's an overhead cable now the cable impedance let's just throw in some dummy uh, values here okay and we say okay there we go we got our cable parameters and we say okay now this is ready to actually be executed we just need to configure this external grid here now this external grid automatically you can see it's a pv because this one here is a slack bar so the second one here is a pv okay now we need to give some power to this pv here let's go ahead and say this is going to supply us a 40 megawatt of power okay so okay now our system is running and it seems like uh the transformer is still being overloaded and our new external grid here is not supplying anything what is happening here it seems like this line is switched off let me see there we go this is yet another feature that is very important you can basically turn uh components or equipment on and off so by basically uh, selecting switch on we are basically switching on this line here just as we can choose to basically switch it off or disconnect it all completely okay so let's go ahead and switch on the network and run the load flow analysis again and now you can see that we have something going on here as you can see we are pulling 40 megawatt of power from this external grid that is going straight onto this load here this load is still 5 megawatt and our transformer here is only 26.8 percent overloaded okay so that is making our line to actually breathe and operate with optimum so this is it guys for this tutorial i'm going to stop here stay tuned on to simtech channel give this tutorial a thumbs up for more upcoming tutorial make sure you subscribe to simtech channel until next time cheers